Hi, this is Dave from Heads Up Health, recording from my home here in beautiful Truckee, California, and I wanted to talk more about CBD oils. If you caught our last podcast on Data Driven Health Radio, we interviewed Dr. Philip Blair, who is with a company called Elixinol that is making high grade, 100% pure CBD oils. And Dr. Blair talks about the body's own internal can- endocannabinoid system, which means we have the receptors for these cannabis molecules inside of our body and how powerful these external supplements can be at stimulating everything from the immune system to the thyroid to our own neurotransmitters and can help with things like chronic inflammation, sleep issues, cancer treatment, and a wide range of other conditions. I won't do it justice, so if you want to learn more about CBD oil from the expert, check out our podcast. We'll link to it below, and you can hear from Dr. Blair. We go much, much deeper on the science behind how these products work. More importantly, I've been testing the Elixinol products for a couple weeks. So after the show, I ordered some of the products and have been testing them, and then wanted to share my experience with you here. So I tested two products. The first is just a straight CBD oil that is dispensed in a tincture. So it's just one tincture of CBD oil. And I was testing it either under the tongue or in a drop of water. Either one will work. So that was the first product I tested. One tincture is about five milligrams of CBD oil. And in the podcast, Dr. Blair talks about some recommended dosage guidelines. For a beginner, you can start with 15 milligrams. On the other side of the spectrum, he works with cancer patients that may be taking up to 90 milligrams per day. So if you're a beginner and you want to get started, I'd recommend starting with a dose of 5 milligrams, which would be about one tincture. So this was the first one I tested, which is just the pure CBD oil. The other product I tested was the liposomal CBD oil, which means the CBD oil is wrapped in a liposomal delivery molecule. What that means basically is that it's much easier for the body to absorb the CBD oil. So this one is served a little bit differently. This one has five pumps, which equates to one serving. And you can either take five pumps in a glass of water. I just take five pumps under the tongue. So that was my starting dose. Immediately what I noticed, and this is something Dr. Blair mentioned, but immediate uplift in mood. As soon as I take my five milligrams, I immediately found myself just in a much happier, upbeat, more energetic state. I would also take it before heavy workouts. So when I go to the gym, Right before, say 10 minutes, I'd put 5 milligrams under the tongue. And then I also tested it before bed. Dr. Blair recommends about 60 to 90 minutes before bed is the optimal time to try it. So I was experimenting with 5 milligrams, which I noticed a nice subtle effect. Taking it up to 10 milligrams per serving definitely was more noticeable. And then you can titrate it up based on your own body, based on your own tolerance, and based on your own health goals. So these are the first two products I tested. If you're looking to get started and you just want to try out CBD oils, you're not really sure where to start, you don't want to spend a ton of cash, this is probably the best one to start with. And this is the liposomal product. We will provide a link below that will get you 10% off your first order. This is the smallest bottle. So I would start with this one. It's not a big upfront expense. It's just an easy, low-cost way to try out the product. So I think there's about two different flavors. Start with this one. Just order a small bottle. Start with a single dose, five milligrams. I was doing that three times a day. And then start to up it until you find the dose that's exactly right for you. If you are a Heads Up Health user, which allows you to track your data on things like sleep, blood work, and other metrics you might be collecting, you can actually start to correlate the CBD usage with things like your sleep quality. So for example, I use an Aura ring to track my sleep. It gives me very, very detailed information on things like deep sleep, REM sleep, light sleep. You can also use a Fitbit. Any other device that has a decent sleep tracking mechanism, typically something with a heart rate, and any of the trackers on the market can do a pretty decent job. I think the Aura is the best, so that's the one I use. So I've been experimenting with different dosages before bed and then testing how that improves or doesn't improve my sleep score the next morning. So again, we've been testing the Elixinol product for a couple weeks. We love it. You can learn more from Dr. Blair on the podcast. 
You can also shoot us an email, support at headsuphealth.com, and then we'll include links to the podcast with Dr. Blair. We'll include the code to save 10% off and give it a try. Thanks.